Hi, I'm Mary Jane Copps, and I'm the phone lady. Here's some tips to help you communicate more effectively on the phone. Answer your phone between the second and third ring. Slow down, both when you're creating your voicemail messages and when you answer the phone. Use your name and smile. That's the beginning of building relationship. Now, luckily, the woman you just heard from, Mary Jane Copps, is not helping people learn about overexposed uh, video footage. <laughs> but she is helping millennials and Gen Z individuals get over their phobia of speaking on the phone for the low, low price of nearly $500 a session. It's a lot, there she is with the phone. You don't have to be afraid of it, everybody. You don't have to be afraid of it. I got scared for a second, but I'm better now. No, I love this, she calls herself the phone lady. Um, and 16 years ago, she set up a consulting business called The Phone Lady to help companies improve their staff members' conversation skills on the phone. And look, I don't know whether she actually has individual clients who she pay does. 480. She does. You think so? Well, her website says 700 over the course of 16 years. So about 40 a year are fallen victim to this ploy. So but it's kind of a good service, maybe too, I think, actually. I mean, sure, if look, I think that there are certain jobs that literally require you to be a good communicator over the phone. And if you grew up in the internet era with all these technological advancements, you can text, you can email, you can basically do anything to avoid having to speak to someone on the phone yeah. using your voice, right? And whether you want to believe it or not, having a conversation over the phone is a little bit of a skill. It, it also requires you to get over a phobia. I have the phobia, I hate talking on the phone. I can't stand talking on the phone. When people call me, I get annoyed by it. Yeah, I get annoyed by the calls for sure. Yeah, just te like, what's wrong with you? You're not my mom, so text me, right? And my mom, like I gotta call my mom regularly. She wants to talk on the phone. So yeah. She gave birth to me, she raised me, she sacrificed a lot for me. I'm gonna talk to my mom on the phone. But if I could avoid it, I would. <laughs> yeah, the worst is when people call you and the first th thing they do for 30 seconds is apologize for calling you. They'll be like, hey, so sorry I called. I know I should have texted, but I'm really busy at the moment. I figured it'd be easier <laughs> in the car. Like, now you're, you're wasting even more of my time saying why you shouldn't be calling. And they're like, so meet at eight? You're like, that's a text. That's a three word. You don't need to call me for meet at eight. You know, the, the, you guys really did choose the right stock images for this B-roll. That was great. Can we start that again? Because the first guy, I mean, if I were single, he doesn't like to talk on the phone. Look, he's he's distressed. I don't have to worry about him calling. You love me arm ever. muscles. It would never work between <laughs> us, Anna, because this is one area that I do not have any strength. My, my arms are more like the woman that was just laughing in the too. last image. Yeah, yeah. No, I like. I'm into. This look, oh, looks looks contemplative and sad. He's getting bad news on this phone phone call. Yeah, right there. He, no, he's just distressed that he has to speak on the phone, right? Which oh I get. My God. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, so let's talk about Mary Jane Cops a little more because uh, we've got some more information about her. She says, "Quote." Gen Z have never had the skills given to them. In my generation, the phone was on the wall in everybody's house. Uh, and we were taught to answer it and make calls at a young age. Now we have several generations that were never taught anything about talking on the phone and people have removed phones from their homes. In fact, uh, where I live, there were, we had to remove like the wiring and st so in, in one of the bathrooms, there was a phone on the wall in the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm like, why? Why is this like right next to the toilet? Well, you might say why until you learn how Elvis died. And well, if you had a phone right there, it would have maybe saved everything. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Right, I need a little help here. Uh, Should have thought of that. Should have thought of that. Everything's going but dark. honestly, would rather die Somebody than help have, <laughs> have a conversation with someone as I'm there in yeah, that fair enough. part of the home. Okay. Um, Allison. Papadakis, the director of clinical psychological studies at John Hopkins University, does confirm what Mary Jane Copps has to say about younger generations not having the skills necessary to have a phone conversation. She says, Gen Z and millennials have a lot less experience talking on the phone because texting and instant messaging have been the primary communication mode for their generation, which is an excellent development in life, everybody. Um, since they have a lot less experience talking on the phone, they have less comfort with it. That sets up people who are vulnerable to social anxiety and have anxiety in that situation.
What about you? Do you, I mean, you say that you get annoyed when people call you, but what do you find the most cumbersome of phone conversations? I just don't like when people don't let you get off the phone. That's especially my dad's very guilty of that. He'll call me. He'll run out of stuff to say, and then he'll just recap all the issues. So bring up, I was like, I gotta go. He's like, all right, so just quickly, did you finish paying your taxes? And I'm like, we, I said I was done, but we're done. I don't have time no. to go through all of it. And then he'll be like, all right, so what else? Well, you can't say what else, you called me. I had nothing from the first minute. Yeah. There's nothing else there, that's difficult. Um, but your dad loves you. See, yeah, that's, that's what I try point. to remember when point. I don't want to talk on the phone with members of my family. This is a good- But it's not about the members of my family, just, be, just to be clear. I just don't like being on the phone. I can't yeah. explain what it is. Like, and, and people are not very good at it these days. I, I do find that when you're starting to date somebody, it's very helpful to have phone calls because it's much better than text. But 99% of even early courtship conversations is on text. Yes, it is. And you just don't literally- I got a phone call the other day and I was like, I was confused. I didn't, like, after a few minutes, I was like, can we, cool, I'll text you later. Like, I didn't know what to do. But this, this is, I mean, people do have social anxiety around phone calls for sure, around public speaking in general. Mm -hmm. I grew up with a severe speech problem. I couldn't even say hi to friends of mine. I had a severe stutter and disfluency. And so it's great that people are coaching, I think, how to. Yeah. Be more confident. I know people I work with that do not get on the phone. They're afraid to do anything except written communication. And that's just a thing people have. Um, it, although it is kind of amazing that Mary Jane Cops is able to be successful with a business like this targeted at millennials because yeah. and millennials Z. usually hate cops. <laughs> that's I mean, her saying. name is actually like some like the guy from the earlier story reporting. On someone, Mary Jane, cops. Yeah, no, it's, it's a, a really full good, on. It's, a good, it's point. good and then bad. It's like drugs and then police. Hide, hide the Mary Jane. Well, I mean, she definitely has some talents because she is charging four hundred eighty dollars an hour for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Unbelievable. And three hundred sixty-five dollars for thirty-minute webinars as part of a seven-part program. She also does corporate workshops. The daily rate. Three thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, she also said that she randomly calls people to to test their skills on picking up the yeah, call. Yeah, no, that's I mean, which is that's nice. Paying someone to do that to me. <laughs> right. I mean, if you're gonna charge me three eighty an hour, forty an hour, you can't randomly call me because I'm gonna be nervous just because of the bill. I'll be like, am I on the it's on the clock? Is this part of the deal? <laughs> also, if she's trying to do a business towards millennials, we can please pull that picture back up of her. How are you gonna use this as your photo for being more comfortable with people getting comfortable with being on the phone? If we can see Mary Jane again holding the phone. This is the phone that she chose. We can't, we don't have it. It'll, it's okay, it'll come up. The yeah. point is, the there it is. Yep. That's not even, no one, no millennial knows what that is. They're gonna see that and think this is a no, Gen Z, old school building, like a model of a church or something. Millennials. Definitely know what it is because they like to have one Vintage in stuff. their apartment True. to be cute, right? True. Like it's a it's a part of their decor. True. I know that because I considered getting one of them. I mean, it is fun. They're cool. I one time I think I somebody gifted me one that was like a rotary phone that plugged into your cell phone, and you could use that as a handle. Remember the with rotary oh. phones, what the most annoying part was? No. Was you would dial like a, a ten digit number, and you just the last. One or two digits, you wouldn't all the way hit the side. You'd have to start over. Oh, you'd have I to don't go remember brr, that. Brr, and just do it again and again and again. Because if you wouldn't quite hit it, it wouldn't connect. I mean, I always hit it and I hit it good. So I never <laughs> had that problem. What are we so. talking about again? We're talking about <laughs> ice cream with I nuts, everybody. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so pervy today. I'm I like it. This is a good way to end the year. It's a good way to end the year. People don't. Listen, millennials are making phone calls. We're having fun. It's a bonus episode. This is the reason people need to be a member. We're just tell your friends. Fun. We're just having fun. We're having a good time. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. We really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.